It's real. It's not fucking real. It's just like a like a. and I'm sure we can fix it. There are bodies. What? There are bodies upstairs. <laughs> bodies? Like... Like multiple dead bodies. No, I don't know what to do. What the fuck? No, 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 no go up there. What? Uh, Jamie! Well, I have to go see it, don't I? It's, it's so bad, they're everywhere. Okay, how many dead bodies are there? Like seven. Seven? Or eight, I, I don't know, they're, they're not all together. Fuck. What the hell? What the fuck? One's nailed to the ceiling, what the fuck? Fuck! Uh. All right, uh... No one else can see that, all right? I heard some screaming, so I just thought I'd pop over to make sure we're all okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, everything's fine. We were just having uh, Playing a game. A, a sex game. <laughs> okay. Cool. Super great to know everything over here is totally normal. Yeah, thanks for checking in. Of course. <laughs> all right. All right. Bye. Have a good day. You too. All right. <laughs> is that blood on your sock? Um, yeah, that, that's paint. Um, sometimes I, I like to get high and do arts and crafts and it can be a bit messy and- Fine. She gets it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Totally makes sense. All right. <laughs> okay, bye, Bella. bye. Bye. <sighs> okay, I need you that. Tell me exactly what happened. Okay, okay. Um, um, I woke up. And there were bodies everywhere. And then I called you. That's it? That's insane. That's literally insane. I know. What did you do last night? I binge Bridgerton and I went to bed. No dead bodies. Not last night. Oh fuck, Ames, that's all you know? Yes, I would tell you if there were more. I know, I know. I just feel like we're missing some key elements. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense. <sighs> I 
Do you think? It wasn't me! You have to believe me! I can't do it! Oh, I can't do it! Uh, hey, what's going on? Uh, I don't know if I Tell should... us! Okay. They found multiple bodies in her apartment? It's fucked up, man! People are crazy! Oh. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Should I call the police? Do you want to be dragged away? I mean, maybe I could help Ella. They'd see we've clearly been set up. No, they could also think that you're working with her. What? We don't know that she didn't do this. If it's anything like that, she didn't do it. We don't know anything right now. You don't believe her. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. You know what really frustrates me? When um, I'm watching a movie and it's obvious that they should go to the police, but they don't, and then things get worse, and that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Um, maybe we should break up. What? I mean, yeah, I just, I just think we should break up. Why? Because I'm just not feeling it anymore. <laughs> I found the ring. But yeah, maybe we should break up. Wait, would you have said yes? Are you serious? Oh, I don't know, I'm just scared, okay? Of our relationship or of the bodies? Of both? <sighs> so you leave me to get out of this. Oh my god. Fuck! Fuck you! Well, I'm just in shock, okay? So just give me a minute, like a literal minute to think. You know, I'm in shock too, but I would have never considered leaving you. Do so I just walk inside? It's best not to hesitate. Uh, no. You're going to want to cooperate. Yeah, you should. So I just shoot them? Zap, shoot, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Look at me! You <laughs> said you didn't want any curly fries. Oh, but they're so good. Pass the horsey sauce. Very effective. Yes, Larry. And now all of today's memories will be replaced with ones of Arby's. Clever. Mm. I'm so glad we came to Arby's. Oh, it's finger looking good. Mm. Wait, Gary, what is Arby's? It's a made up American restaurant food chain. The mind wipe device replaces human trauma with memories of roast beef, curly fries, and au jus. We, we have, have the meats. <laughs> I think it's pretty brilliant how the Blogan Blarafish projects illusions of dismembered bodies in order to consciously enslave the human race. Come on, let's get this nasty Blogan Blarafish before it frames anyone else for murder. Indeed. Mmm. Oh, so good. My stomach hurts. We don't have to come back here.
reasons why Arby's is not a real place and it's just a myth. First reason, I've never been to an Arby's, so I cannot confirm if it's real or There's not. There's a conspiracy going on that has largely gone unchecked. You've all noticed it, but you haven't realized. This conspiracy is Arby's. When have you ever seen anyone go to an Arby's or in an Arby's drive through or even park at Arby's and go inside? Yo, if I ask you where you want to eat and your first two suggestions are either Jack of the Box or Arby's, you're a spy. You're a government spy. You're trying to uncover secrets for me. You might be thinking, oh, Max, I've seen an Arby's. Max, I've eaten it at Arby's. No, you have not. You got reverse men in black. You saw something you weren't meant to see. They showed up with the mind erase pen. They put Arby's memories in, okay? What real franchise would have the slogan, Arby's, we have the meats. That is too absurd to be real. You cannot convince me otherwise. Yeah, Arby's isn't real. But I had Arby's yesterday. No, you didn't. But I worked at Arby's in high school. No, you didn't. But I met my husband at Arby's. I don't know where you met that man, but it wasn't at Arby's. The only reason you think you've been to Arby's is because you've seen too much. What?